Novak Djokovic versus Carlos Alcaraz is the gold medal match for the Olympics of 2024. And both guys have had impressive roads to get to this stage. Alcaraz entered the tournament as the number two seed and will take on Habib in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-1. In the second round, he'd take on Greg Spore. And after a close second set, would get through in straights. 6-1, 7-6. In the third round, he'd take on Sefulin, who had taken out Tabillo and Echeverry along the way. There's no problem for Alcaraz again getting through in straights. 6-4, 6-2. In the quarterfinals, he'd take on Tommy Paul, the number nine seed, who'd had some real battles against in the past. And after going down a break in the second, he'd fight back to win 6-3-7-6 to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Alcaraz would take on Felix Ogeliasim, the number 13 seed, who had just beaten Rude to get to this stage. There's no problem with Carlos getting through in straights. 6-1-6-1 to advance to the gold medal match. Djokovic entered the tournament as the number one seed and would take on Ebden in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-love-6-1. Six six in the second round, he'd take on Rafa Nadal, a man that he'd played 59 times previously, which is the record for the most times anyone's played anyone else in the history of the ATP. But unfortunately, Rafa wasn't up to it. Djokovic got the win. 6-1, 6-4. In the third round, he'd take on Kepfer, who had taken out Raonic and Anaudi along the way. And after a close first set, would get through in straights. 7-5, 6-3 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Djokovic would take on the number eight seed, City Pass, a man that he'd beaten 10 times in a row previously, including five on clay. And after a close second set, Djokovic would get through in straights. 6-3, 7-6 to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Djokovic would take on Musetti, the 11th seed, a man that he'd played two epic against at this venue over the years. And after a close first set, Djokovic would get through in straights. 6-4, 6-2 to advance to his first gold medal match. These two guys have played six times a four with the head-to-head split down the middle 3-3, including, of course, a match at Wimbledon a couple of weeks ago where Elkris got the win in the final. Djokovic didn't look great then. He has looked a lot better for the most part over the last couple of weeks. So this will be really interesting. And of course, they had played at this venue last year at Roland Garros, and Djokovic got the win there. So this will be a really interesting matchup with the stakes being so high. If Elker is going to win this one, he needs to move Djokovic around and be aggressive like he was at Wimbledon. He was so good in those first two sets at Wimbledon. Even the third set, he kind of let it slip a little bit, but he got through in the end in straight sets, and he should be able to beat Djokovic if he can get him running around. If Djokovic is going to win this one, he needs to serve well, and he needs to push Elkers around. He was so aggressive against Musetti, almost uh, angry the way that he was playing and verbally as well. He got a, time, a code violation for, for audible obscenity. So he's feeling at Djokovic and there's a lot of nerves there. So he needs to settle those nerves down because Elkris will be the favorite into this match. Love this matchup. Seventh time they're playing and it feels like every time these guys play, it's at the highest level with the highest stakes and no higher than a gold medal. Doesn't come around every day, but I have to go with Elkaraz in three sets. I just think that Elkaraz, after that Wimbledon match, is going to be so confident. And we're back on clay. That's Elkaraz's surface. Djokovic, he's had a great run to this point, but I feel like Elkaraz is just going to steal that gold medal off him. Let me know in the comments below. Who's winning the gold medal?